This video is a comparison between the results between Ancestry.com and Jedmatch.com. Um, a while back I sent my DNA off to Ancestry.com for fun of it and curiosity. Um, I have family that came from Sweden and family that came from Greece and I've got family that's been in what is now the United States and Canada since the 1700s, 1600s. So I was just kind of curious to see what I the results would be. I thought most of my uh, DNA would be in what is now Sweden and places like that and Greece. But the results came back from Ancestry.com a little surprisingly. 66% uh, what is now Great Britain. 16% Scandinavia what is now Norway, Finland, Sweden. 6% uh, Finland, Russia. Didn't know I had Russia uh, DNA. Uh, I guess what is now Russia. 4% Europe West, 2% Europe East, 2% Ireland, or what is now Ireland, and 4% Caucasus Middle East and North East Africa. That was very surprising. And 0% Greek blood or DNA, or what is now Greece. Um, Caucasus consists of what are now countries Armenia, Azerbaijan, Georgia, Iran, and Turkey. Uh, what is now considered the Middle East, the countries of Bahrain, Cyprus, Egypt, Iran, Iraq, Israel, Pakistan, or Palestine, Jordan, Kuwait, Lebanon, Oman, Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Syria, Yemen, United Arab Emirates. And Northeast Africa is Libya, Egypt, Sudan, Eritrea, Ethiopia. So I sent my results off to Jedmatch, and when I got them back, it was surprising. They break it down to the smallest amount they can possibly do. Uh, Ancestry.com, from what I understand, does not go below 1%. So Jedmatch will find more stuff, uh, DNA, ethnicity that's below 1% in you. Uh, Jedmatch uses regions, tribes, and, <coughs> excuse me, terms uh, that... Ancestry.com does not use. Jedmatch said that I had about 45% what is now United Kingdom, Great Britain, so that number dropped, but my number for uh, the Scandinavia blood, which is now Norway, Sweden, Finland, Estonia, Latvia, Poland, Germany, Lithuania, Denmark, Russia, Netherlands, jumped up to about 30-35%. And my Caucasus, Middle East, North, Eastern Africa jumped up to about 10 to 12 percent depending on what chart you used on Jedmatch. They have a lot of charts and different variable ways in looking at it. They also use terms like the Red Sea, Mediterranean, which those countries are Turkey, Saudi Arabia, Syria, uh, Libya, Egypt, Sudan, Eritrea, in North Africa. Uh, they also had Terms like Western European hunter-gatherer, uh, ancient North Eurasian, which is Hungary, Romania, Kazakhstan, and what are now those countries, both of those territories were on both pages as well, or websites. And Ukraine hunter-gatherer, which is now Ukraine, obviously, and that was on both websites. Um, the tribes that Jedmatch used was Kalash tribe, which is now Pakistan, Balachi tribe, which is now Iran, the Anatolian tribe, which is now Turkey, and Amerian Din, Din, I messed it up, I know it is, uh, which is now the American Indians or Native Americans, and that was anywhere from 0.7 to 1.5 percent, depending on the chart. Uh, my France, Luxembourg, <coughs> Belgium, and Switzerland was anywhere from 3 to 5 percent, and those countries were on both, or what are now both countries, were on both uh, DNA matches and both sites still had 0% Greek DNA in me even though I had family that came from Greece but where they came from was on an island that is six miles from Turkey and both sites consider that part of Greece a Caucasus. Uh, Greek DNA from my understanding is from mainland Greece and Italy and I had 0% of both of that on both sites. Uh, what else was interesting was on Jedmatch had very small parts 
of percentages below 1% on all of it. Uh, Horn of Africa, South Africa, Sub-Sahara, Western Africa, and New Guinea. And it's very interesting. I just did it all for fun. My thought process is still the same in life. The way I behave is still going to be the same. The way I look is still going to be the same. I just did this for myself and out of pure fun. And it's very fun. I think everybody should do it. It's, it's interesting. Um, both sites pretty much had the same territories or what are now certain countries in Africa, Middle East, and Europe, and Western Asia. Uh, Jedmatch goes a lot deeper than Ancestry, and Jedmatch is harder to navigate through, but it's very interesting, and Ancestry is very interesting as well. I'm not advertising for either one of them, or cutting either one of them down, but they both have its part in this DNA process. They're both fun, and yeah, I never knew that I would have um, the Middle East or parts of Africa in me, and I thought I would have Greek in me, and I it's just the complete opposite of both thoughts. 